Hi, this is Karen Duncan. I'm here with the Table Vision Group at the Duck Toy. Street here to your right. Look down Marlboro Street and just kind of notice how long and how flat and how straight Marlboro Street is. It seemingly goes on forever down to our west. That's kind of rare in Boston. Boston streets are known to be curvy, windy, and hilly. Why are things so different here? This is a new neighborhood. 200 years ago, everything that we're driving on right now was all water. All water or swampland or some combination of the two. This was literally the bay that was in the back of Boston. This built this in over a course of 40 years. It was 40 years to do it, working six days a week. 24 hours a day just it's an entirely man-made neighborhood with live street boulevards that intersect with regular intervals made as a much easier neighborhood in Boston to navigate through especially if you ever find yourself driving I don't know let's say a 36 foot long to be a landing craft Here. So how do we get around this, guys? We're going to get around this because I'm going to teach you all how to quack silently. Every in the duck, put your right hand up in the air. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go like this. That's the sound of one hand quacking. Now it's a lot more difficult to people's attention when you're silently quacking at them. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Try these guys over here to your right. Stop the presses. Send out the waves. Positive energy coursing over the side of the duck. We have multiple responses, but as of yet. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. The silent quacking better than the audible quacking guys. I really do. Because you know a lot of people in Boston they know about the whole quacking thing, but a lot of people don't know about the no quack zones. So sometimes you come here on Newbury Street, you get some guy come up to the side of the duck, and he just starts quacking his head off. And everybody in the duck just silently turns to him and goes like this. Really weirds him out. It really does. We got some other no quack zones in the city of Boston. I'll make sure I show you guys where they are so we don't get embarrassed. Of course there is nothing more embarrassing than quacking in a no quack zone. Um you get a lot of different people from different countries? Absolutely. We we get people from all over, and since we kind of have an international image, since people are seen in things like the Bruins Parade and whatnot, um, we, get a, we get a lot of uh, foreigners, especially at the Prudential Center, which is our other departure location. There's a lot of hotels around there. It's, people see the ducks going by all day. So they're like, hey, that looks interesting. And we've got we've got a solid tour. Our drivers are excellent. I mean, where else can you go to work? Everybody you meet is either skipping work or they're on vacation. Do you do you meet a lot of famous people in Guito? I've had yeah, I've had a few famous people on board, Tom Hanks, Percy Alley and so on. I mean we got a lot of stars that come on board here and they they want to experience it too. How long have you been doing this in Guito? Oh last thing while I'm doing your questioning. Major scoop. Scoop. Uh, what 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 must he to do uh, tours on ball? I mean scoop. Well, for the parades, I've done the Red Sox twice. I did the Patriots once, and I did the the Celtics for the one parade they did. But uh, we're going to have a great job with the duck that we drove. Daniel Daniel Hall. 
Did you meet anybody from the Boston Bruins? Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to be on the duck. I was on the ground and I did watch the parade. I was on, I was on Tremont Street, so that was fun. I didn't actually get to meet them though, which is a little, little bummer, but maybe in the future. Bring the duck down to the bottom of your ramp. Bring your duck to a full and complete stop. Put your duck in first gear. Engage the propeller, which is over here on your left. Just gonna roll a little bit, she pops out. There she goes. All right, one long blast of the horn, and here we go to the Charles River, guys. Here we go, here we go, guys. <laughs> kind of like a really short, slow log boom ride, guys, wasn't it? <laughs> off the log. What's your name? Camille. Camille? Nice to meet you, Camille. Where are you from? Malden. Malden, Madison. And you're all here. Now, what, what is, this, is a, this is a television uh, thing that you guys do, right? Yeah. Excellent. So you guys go all over just filming random yeah. things. Excellent. You chose the duck tours today. Excellent. You guys having a good time back there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time, right? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We have our moments, that's for sure. <clears throat> now, have you ever driven a boat before? No, you've never driven a boat before? No. You're actually doing quite a good job. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. That's all. It's nice. Now, the duck's going, uh, do you want to go a little bit faster? <laughs> go for it, Camille. You can do it. You don't want to hurt anybody? No. Do you guys want to see top feet on the duck? Yeah. All right. You guys sure you can handle that? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Now, hold on to the wheel, okay? Hold on to it nice and tight. This is going to get crazy here for a little bit. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You guys feel that? That's power right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Feel the wind in your hair. Look at the shoreline, guys. Like, look at the kaleidoscope. All those colors mixing together so fast. Is that a tree? Is it a person? I can't tell. Yeah, ducks don't get very fast. They just get kind of loud. That's good. Well, you did a great job driving the duck. Give a round of applause, guys. You did a good job driving the duck. Excellent work, Camille. Excellent work. been driving for five years. I did some other jobs in the company too. Do you drive different elbows? No, this is the only duck that I drive. This is the only one. When you've been here for as long as I have, you get your own boat. 
Now as we go up Beacon Hill, I want you guys to look down Beacon Hill. Look down Beacon Hill to your right and check out an open area of water. That is the Frog Pond in Boston Common. Now the Frog Pond is a wading pool for Boston area school children in the warm weather months. It is a non-chlorinated wading pool for Boston area school children in the warm weather months. Now kids go over there on a hot summer day, take a quick dunk, and then we rush them over to Massachusetts General Hospital for a shot. <laughs> Plus, we get some time off in the winter because the river's a little frozen, so we get some time to spend with our families. It was nice talking to you, Anguito. Nice talking to you, too. Thank you. You guys will feel a little bit of a bump in just a little bit here, guys. Don't be alarmed. It's just the land. It's what we're supposed to do. We are, after all, a duck. Where's the bump? Where's the bump? Where's the bump? There's the bump. There's the shoreline pulling us ashore, just like she would have done during World War II. I know I need my propeller. I'm going to disengage it. And you guys have another successful landing by Major Scoop and his duck, Daniel Hawley. There we go, guys. Happy, happy, happy. Clap, clap, clap. There we go. Thank you. 